Hi, welcome to day four of multiplying and dividing fractions. And today we're going to work with canceling, cross canceling, as I like to call it, with um, when we're dividing. Okay, so it's a little bit different than it was with the multiplying because we're not going to do it at first. We have to wait until after we have done the reciprocal of the second fraction. So remember that we're going to, when it's division here, we're going to flip this to 8 over 1. That's the reciprocal or the, the inverse um, of it. And we're going to cross this out. We're going to cross this out. And now this is going to be multiplying. So we're going, to, we're going to look to see if there's a way for us to cancel before we multiply. Um, 3 and 1, there's no way for us to cancel there. And then 4 and 8, 4 goes into both of them. So 4 goes into 4 once, and 4 goes into 8 twice. So now we can do 3 times 2, which is 6. And on the bottom we have 1 times 1, which is 1. So we have 6 over 1, and 1 can go into 6 6 times. So our final answer here would be 6. Okay, let's look at another one. So remember, we're going to find the reciprocal here, which would be 2 sevenths. Flip this up over, cross that out. This division is going to become multiplication. And let's see if we can cancel here at all. Well, 7 and 10 don't have any common factors, but 2 and 16 do. So 2 and 16 both have 2 as a factor. So 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 16 8 times. And then we're going to have 10 times 1 is 10, and 8 times 7 is 56. And we could have cross-canceled again. I didn't catch that. Um, so let's go back for a second. Sometimes you, you yourself might not see something like that, and then you get to the end, and you're like, oh, I could have done that. So... When we were back at, I'm gonna put this right here. This will work great. When we were back at this point, I actually could have said two goes into both 10 and eight because you have one numerator and one denominator, so you can cancel. So two goes into 10 five times, and two goes into eight four times. So now we have four over five and one over seven. Five times one is five. And 4 times 7 is 28. So now we can see this is a simplified fraction. They don't have, there's no common factor between the 5 and the 28. So yeah, that is how you cross cancel, or in that case, that was actually canceling within the same fraction, <clears throat> um, or reducing the fraction, simplifying the fraction. So that's how you do that. And we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.